put up the vlog, but I'm just like super emotional right now. And I need someone to talk to. I'm just tired of feeling like everything's my fault. All I've ever tried to do is like help Uriah. And he just seems to think I'm the bad guy, like I'm leaving him or something. All I want is for my family to be back to normal. I don't want him to have to do with it for the rest of his life. With everything I've been through, I still love him. I still try to help him. And I still want the best for him. And I don't want him to feel like I'm the the bad guy was like I'm doing something to him and I just so, I'm just so irritated <sighs> this whole situation is just so hard for me I'm the type of person to get into an argument or to do something and then change my mind but every time I look at me love back. I want everything to just be normal again. I just don't know what to do. I've never been on my own, own totally, 110%. I've always had him. He's always been there. So it's just hurting me. And this is, I think, the first time I've cried since this situation when I left and went to the hotel. So I think I just needed this. I needed to cry it out and I needed to feel because I've kind of just been um, on autopilot and trying to be strong for me, but I'm hurting a lot. And he's not making it any better, but making me feel like I'm a bad person or I'm a bad, I'm a bad guy. Because I know I'm not. I know I'm doing right for her. And I keep telling him I never said we were getting a divorce. I just literally just need some time to watch you and make sure that everything's gonna be okay and that we can be normal again that's all i want i just want me to have normal childhood and normal parents that love each other and to grow up in a happy environment that's all i want but i'm gonna go to i'm just gonna go because i just uploaded this vlog and i just i'm so stressed out but i'm gonna be okay so i'll see you guys tomorrow on a happier note these are just my thoughts right now I'm sure when I go to sleep and wake up, I'll feel better. But anyway, I feel like everything's always my fault. So the reason that I was staying over there until all of our stuff came over here is because, like I said, I had orientation 6th, 7th, and the 8th. And it's easier for me to just wake up and have somewhere for me to be instead of driving over there early in the morning and waking her up. Hold on, baby. I'm coming. Um, but I called my job and I actually pushed back my orientation to the 19th. And... Uh, so I can get everything moved in and settled and then start doing other things instead of like just dragging myself thin. Like I feel like I just had a mental breakdown again because I'm just pulling myself thin and I'm worried about way too much stuff. I'm worried about way too many people. I'm worried about, um, I need to just be worried about me and me, me. And um, even like not be worried about Uriah right now, like I'm stressed out. Like he stresses 
freaks me out and makes me feel so bad like not in our relationship but like makes me feel bad about any decision I ever make so it's just hard for me especially being with him as long as I've been with him just not being strong enough to put my foot down and I'm tired of I'm tired of feeling weak I'm tired of living for other people I'm tired of um, settling for things that I wouldn't tell my daughter to settle for in a relationship a marriage um, anything really any type of relationship i just wouldn't tell her to settle for this like if she came to me for advice if y'all came to me for advice i would say something totally different than what i'm doing and i don't like that i don't want to be a hypocrite i don't want to be biased in my situation but tell somebody else something else about their situation like no i need to show and prove to myself that i need to be strong and i need to help him in this way and me being weak is helping him be weak i feel like so yeah um but he just makes it like it's my fault and like I'm leaving him and um, if I leave then I'm gone forever type stuff so I don't know I don't know what else I don't know but I'm about to decorate and stuff and y'all are dying and I don't think I have my charger so I'm gonna turn this off and stop talking and then turn it on when I'm done decorating. So I won't even get to show you how I'm doing it, but I was hanging up like hammering nails and putting stuff together. So y'all saw how empty everything was, the walls were dry, and y'all see when I put everything up. I struggled and struggled and finally succeeded. Y'all, this is literally a struggle and I don't know why. It's just a cute moment. that I'm going to cancel my GoFundMe, like close it all together. Thank you everyone who's donated. You guys have helped us tremendously, but I don't want to keep it going. I'm tired of explaining myself. I'm tired of going back and forth with people. I'm just going to close my finances and um, not really talk about them too much. I try not to, even though it's my life. I'm going to talk about my life on my platform. But I'm gonna try not to really like talk about it. And if we're down, we're down. You guys will never know. And if we're up, we're up. And you guys will know just based off of if I can um, afford like trips and going places and um, putting her into the nicest schools and you know doing a lot for Mimi and stuff. So you guys will know we're doing well by watching the vlogs. But other than that, I'm really not gonna try to talk about finances that much. Another reason why I wanted to actually cut the GoFundMe now is because we've been getting a ton of positive feedback, a ton of positive views, a ton of new bells, and you guys are helping me also tremendously by watching the vlogs. So if you can't donate, just watching them and sharing the vlogs is amazing because it really, really helps me a lot for um, next month, which will be her birthday month. So I'll be able to do an awesome birthday for her birthday month because with YouTube, you can see how much you, you made from the previous month. So this month, um, well, it's, uh, it's not September, but um, last month of views, I can tell how much I'm gonna get at the end of September. If that makes sense. We get paid back a month. So everything that was going on with us last month and all the views that came in are gonna help a ton um, for her birthday month and stuff. And I just don't believe with the amount of income that's gonna be coming in from the views and stuff that I need to have a GoFundMe open. I just love you guys. Like, from the bottom of my heart, I try to please every single person. I know I can't, but I try my best to please every single person. Speaking of pleasing every single person, I've opened a P.O. box, and I haven't went and got the keys yet. So, I don't, I don't think they're open today because today is Labor Day, but tomorrow I will get the keys. But literally with, like, all the hate and things that I saw that I'm not used to, I know a lot of bigger YouTubers are used to it, but I'm myself not used to it. I'm used to positive bells. I'm used to people giving me their actual opinion even if it's not the same opinion as mine they always give it to me in a classy way to where I know that they mean well and they really really want to see us succeed but the kind of like advice that I've been getting and opinions that I've been getting has been a lot of hate and a lot of just nastiness and to me I feel like if you don't like the Bells Plus One don't watch I had to convert over to my iPhone because my camera died but I got everything done here's a sneak peek Yes, my camera died. Y'all saw a little bit in the back, you know what I'm saying? Listen, if you guys want to see um, everything go to come together piece by piece, 
check out my Snapchat. So follow me at Ming for King, and I will put stuff up on my Snapchat. But for YouTube, I'm going to wait to show you guys every single nook and cranny, everything that I did, and all the DIYs and stuff in the full house tour when I um, get done with everything. And I don't know how long that will take, but like I said, if you're curious about what's going on, go to Snapchat. All right, so I'm cleaning up a little bit and I'm about to head back to Nada's. Cannot wait to get my stuff in and to be able to just sit and chill. Um, I've been doing like moving in really slow because like I was telling you guys with my job, but now that it is um, pushed back to the 19th, I don't have to worry about that right now. I can actually get settled and then take her over there when I have to start my orientation and stuff. So I'm planning to have everyone help me move this weekend. So hopefully that goes as planned and uh, we can be settled in by Monday. This is, yeah, this is different. What, look at what? What? You're so silly. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, I just, I've been going through a lot. I've been <sighs> reading a lot of negativity and I literally almost felt like quitting YouTube, but then I was like, I love YouTube, so why would I do that? Like, this is what actually keeps me sane. If I didn't have YouTube, I don't know where I would be in my depression. I don't know where I would be as a person. I just don't know because you guys being there and being able to give me advice or some things and I actually listen to you guys and it actually changes my life for the better or it helps me with things. Like, I don't know, like if somebody wasn't seriously critiquing my life, for the past three years, especially with raising my child. Some of you guys have actually really helped me, especially when she was sick or something. I didn't know certain things as being a first time mom when I first had her, even though I basically like raised my sisters and I also was a teacher before having her. So that was what I did. Like that was my job, my career was kids. So I knew I knew a little bit of some, but you guys still helped me in, a, in either way. Like even, no matter what, you guys have still helped me. So I knew I couldn't just bail on you guys and I just needed to suck it up and get it together. So I'm pushing through this. Like I said, the GoFundMe will be down. All of the views and all of the love and all of the affection and seriously the positivity, the comments have, it just, it's, it's amazing. And like I said, from you guys sharing and being here for me, you have helped me tremendously. And within the next couple months, it's going to be awesome, okay? I was actually talking to his sister. I've just been thinking like, it's crazy that all this positivity and blessings have come out of what I'm going through that are showing me that this is what I need to do. I need to be strong as a woman. I need to face my fears, which is being alone for a little bit or losing my husband altogether. Like those are literally my fears, my everyday fears. And I have to face my fears. I feel like these are signs. I've always cried at night asking God for signs. I feel like this is signs. As soon as I said I was leaving him, YouTube blew up. My sister made me a GoFundMe. Thank you so much. Like, even though I'm losing it, I love you from the bottom of my heart. And you know my struggles. You know what I go through besides what other people see. You actually know you've been there for me. And I love her. I love her to death. Thank you, Jay. It's just so many things. Like, people have reached out to me. So many things and so many blessings to come. And I'm just excited. And I hope you guys are excited to be here and watch all the blessings that unfold. I love you guys. And if you guys can be a part of my blessings, I would definitely grow and sprinkle all of the blessings to you, Bells. I love you so much. Like I said, I'm about to go to Nada's house. Yeah, I've charged this camera of mine. And I'll see y'all when I get there. Remember to follow me on Snapchat to see anything up in this house. Okay? Okay. So, I'm going to end the vlog. I, this is probably going to be a short vlog. I don't even know how much footage I have. But, <clears throat> I've just been in, like, the worst mood. And haven't vlogged anything. I haven't done anything. I've been sitting on the couch. 
and I've just been thinking about my life and trying to get some type of plan or some type of path. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going through a lot. But I promise tomorrow is going to be a better day. Today was a really down day. I could have vlogged a lot of things and thoughts, but I'm like, I just don't want this whole vlog to be really, really negative. Like, how, I just need some time. Um, Y'all might ask what happened to my hair. So, I didn't really wet it today, but it's super soft from the Shea Moisture stuff that I put into it yesterday. And it's fuzzy right now, but, yeah, and it's still on top of my head. And it's just super soft. Like, y'all can feel this live. So, like I said, I'm about to... The education commercial is very, very disrespectful. I just want them to know. I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm over the negativity. I'm going to go to sleep. Well, I'm going to edit, of course, and upload. But I'm going to go to sleep. And I'm going to start over. And I'm going to be happy. And just... Just finish the man Embrace my circumstances. Basically, that's it's what I need to know. And that's some advice to some of you guys out there going through some things. When you can't control it, especially Gemini's like to control everything. Trust me, you have to embrace your circumstances. You have to be like, you know what, this is happening right now, but I will overcome this because God doesn't give too much to anyone. Like He doesn't overload you. You may feel like He's overloading you. You may feel like you're just like, oh my God, I'm just ready to give up. Like life is so hard. But just think of it like this. Someone out there has it way worse than you. And you never know what happens to people behind closed doors. You never know what people go through behind closed doors. And just know that. Especially when you're out here like relationship goals. Or you envy someone else's life. Especially on YouTube. Because a lot of people like to front. And I'm just not one to front. As you guys see. I'm very very real. I show you guys exactly how it is. Because I'm tired of seeing the same old sugar cookie lifestyle on YouTube. Like this is real. People go through things i'm a real person just like you're a real person this is a scripted we don't sit here and write scripts every day oh we're gonna do this today oh we're gonna do this tomorrow oh, we're gonna do no this is how my life has fallen apart into pieces and i'm trying to pick all the pieces back up and super glue them that was i censored myself <laughs> together like i'm trying to super glue them together because there's no way that these pieces are gonna just lay there on the ground and be pieces forever like no we're about to get our life we're about to get our whole entire life together and i just thank you guys for being there for me I'm praying for a lot of you guys who have emailed me and told me that you're going through the same exact struggles everything that i've been going through you guys are going through too um i'm praying for y'all you're not um, a part of my group uh, married to addiction the link will be below if you are in a situation like myself and you just need some support some sisterly love join our group and you can talk about whatever you want to talk about get whatever you need to get off your chest and there will be no type of judgment there also if you're a youtuber and you need some type of youtube support and you want to meet a whole bunch of youtubers there's about 2500 youtubers in my group right now room of youtube that link will be below too I'm all about support and helping people, y'all. And so any new bells, this is what I do. This is my life. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. And if you have not subscribed, what? Hit the button. Okay? Right now. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow on a happier note. So you want to see Mimi? She's literally snatched my phone. Like, my phone is Mimi's phone now. I'll show y'all Mimi because I feel like I didn't... Did I show y'all Mimi today? I don't know. I'll show y'all Mimi because y'all be like, girl, we're tired of seeing you. Show us the babies. Okay, hold on. What are you doing? Who cool video? Uh oh. What are you doing? You walk is so good. And what are you doing? Just playing my game. Ooh, you and Michael? Yeah. Sounds like fun. Oh, you're watching that? Ooh. You hanging out with the boys? She's such a tomboy. The only girl I know always around boys. Her, you'll be three next month, bug. Did you know? And my boy. You're going to be three years no, old, pretty girl. In a month. Your birthday. What do you want for your birthday? Huh? On the 28th? That's right. Your birthday is on the 28th. October 28th. 
Yep. Yeah. What do you want? Do you want um, toys? Yeah, and a cake? Okay. And today is Kobe's birthday! Yay! Happy birthday, Kobe! Happy birthday! I was feeling all types of sad, down, and so confused. And then Uriah tells me about something that happened today. Number one, I just want to give a message. If you don't know one thing about me, know this. Don't ever cross the line and come for my family. Ever. And in a way, personal. I don't care if you run your mouth, flap your gums on YouTube, but don't ever cross the line to somehow get my husband's number and try to call him and talk about me, boo-boo. Like, where do you think this is? Who do you think this is? What channel do you think you're watching where you can just call the spouse? Like, hey, how's it going? Oh, your wife, I feel like your wife, do you really think he gives two fucks? about what you're saying or where you said it or how you said it from someone who I've never met ever in life someone who literally hates me from watching my vlogs and oh, oh that was your problem like how does she get his number well on Instagram he doesn't seem to understand that I am public figure so you can't just give your friend on Instagram your public Instagram your number and think that it's not gonna get around it's deleted already trust and believe that this person really tried it called my husband and proceeded to talk about his wife you got me fucked up all the way fucked up you are so fucking lucky that everything was privatized and you trying to talk to my sister and try to say oh uriah feels this uriah said that boo boo i talked to uriah okay i talked to uriah i know what uriah does and what he doesn't do what he thinks and what he doesn't think so you can kiss my big fat black ass and that's really all i have to say about that like she really tried it called and everything acting like there was some secrets like i don't do youtube like youtube is not public and he can't see what i'm doing if he wanted to go and see if he wanted to see what I'm saying he can go and see if you wanted to say hey does she have a GoFundMe is it canceled is it not what's going on with life he can come and see hello he clearly has eyes and clearly can find my channel and clearly can see what I'm doing like y'all really I'm shaking I'm so heated like nothing like that has ever happened to me and I'm so freaking heated like worry about yourself and your own life and do not ever 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 fix yourself to text or call my husband and say anything about anything his number will be changed ha! and you thought you had a friend got me all the way in my bag today i can't believe she did it like what oh.